Hello, it's Zara. And I wanted to share these little ornaments I've been making. So I'm using what I have, guys. And this is um, from online, from Amazon, from Hobby Lobby, uh, like the star. I definitely got all of this stuff at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. So this one you could make. Um, you just need glue and grout. And I want to talk to you about the grout, but let's just, I'm just going to do a share. Also, they didn't have many um, ornament shapes left when I went. Michael's had the bear, like I was just, it was slim pickings. So, uh, but I love this snowman. So I had, I bought like four of these. These were in the dollar bin. So I have two more to do. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a process for these, but they're not hard, you guys. You just need, um, a few different tiles and some glue and you can make it too but this one I just it took me like five minutes because there were a lot of big um, tiles and I put a mirror in there and I just thought he was so different to have a mirror and then this one I did traditionally the traditional way put a scarf on him I just had this little moon shape so I put that there and I just love them Oh, I want to talk about the grout. Now, this was a great lesson for me because I didn't have any white grout. And all the videos or um, uh, mostly Pinterest that I saw with mosaic ornaments were white grout. They were using white. And that's not traditionally what mosaic artists use. They tend to use black way more often or a gray. But I think because like the snowman, I wanted him to be white. So I really wanted white for the snowman. And I just ended up grouting them all. So Joe was at Home Depot and he picked it up for me, but he got me unsanded grout. And there's a big difference. All of these have been grouted with that unsanded grout. And I'm gonna show you what happened. So if you, I'm gonna come in closer. <clears throat> For some reason, the sand keeps the, the grout lines fuller. It fills it in better. This is like, it gets little picks in it. Like, I can't explain. I don't know what the word is, but see those little, it's like there's some missing. And um, it's okay. Like, I, they're for me, and I knew I was going to do it, so I didn't beat myself up over it. And I have a little bit of alabaster left that I could probably use. Um, but I really wanted to use white. And I just, I mean, because it's mine, I don't mind. But this was the only one of these shapes they had left, and this was the only one of this that they had left. So, but see how this is not what you want as a mosaic artist you don't want this type of grout but because the cracks are so wide you really need to use sanded grout see up here there's holes and I could have filled them in but I I did I filled in a lot of them but I didn't go crazy because like I said they're mine so I just sanded around them um, this Christmas tree I used these this is actually I think it's like agate these are beads, um, bead button. That was the only button that I used. Um, so whatever green things I had in my stash, I just threw on here with a little bit of glitter for the trunk. But I think for the, for the next snowman I do, which alabaster is a creamier color, it's not white white, um, I think it'll look okay. It'll be fine, but I, I just really did want to use white for the snowman. And then I had these big tiles from when I used to do mixed media mosaics. I put more mirror up here for the top of his hat or the brim. And then, look, there's my camera. I can show it. I just think he's such a cute size and shape. And then the star. There were a lot of other stars. So I have two more of those. And then Joe cut me these angels on the Glowforge. So I'm excited. If you want to see a tutorial, I can just do a quick one. It's just gluing things to a substrate. It's not like it's hard, but um, I'm looking forward. I'm going to do these in a couple different colors. I have about five of these, so they're, that's exciting. He forgot to make a hole, but what I've been doing is I stapled these on the back, but you can just glue 
um, with E6000 or something to the back. But this one's really cute. Look how sparkly. All right, you guys, that's about it. I just wanted to share what I've been up to. Been busy. Kiwi's with me. Matt's in here. Hello. <laughs> but look, see, that's the... It's not good, the grout. It was disappointing, but I didn't t specify to get sanded grout. I just said I needed white. So he looked in the spot, and that's what he found, and so now we know. Um, and I didn't even read the package when I started grouting. I just, like, started going, and then I was like, this feels different. And it was like, yeah, well, and I had done them all, so it is what it is. So, But now I know. Lesson learned. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.